and welcome to our channel Link Frequency. And I'm Aishwarya Patta. Today, in this video, we are going to carry forward our course that is Artificial Intelligence for Absolute Beginners. Today, we are going to majorly focus on what exactly Artificial Intelligence is and its different stages involved along with examples. Without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> We are back onto our screen now. I hope you can see our major topic that is artificial intelligence. So we are going to cover this session in three parts that is introduction, the different stages of artificial intelligence that we are supposed to know and then lastly we are going to conclude the session. So now let's begin with the introduction part. So here introduction part you can see that uh, artificial intelligence is basically a branch of computer science. Here, we are making the machine to mimic like a human. Uh, basically, if you are aware, uh, all the human beings have the ability to have uh, problem solving skills or reasoning, decision making or thinking abilities. These skills, we want to make sure that the machines have them inbuilt and also uh, do the exact uh, behavior as humans are supposed to be doing and taking decisions. So next, moving on to the different stages of artificial intelligence. Nowadays, you can see many companies and industries are trying to take up artificial intelligence in their domain so that they can have a very good growth opportunity in their industry. So it becomes very important for every one of us to know different stages of artificial intelligence. So your artificial intelligence is again of three types. First one is artificial narrow intelligence, which is also known as ANI. Then second one is artificial general intelligence which is also known as AGI and lastly we have artificial super intelligence that is ASI. So all these three stages we will go in depth now. So starting with ANI. ANI also is known as weak AI because this is only capable of doing one or two tasks at a time. For example, it can only do a task which is specified to it. So uh, by doing this, you know, you can also predict that it is not very much self aware of what exactly it is doing. Like if you have assigned a machine to sort uh, based on a color, it is going to do only that specific task for you, not apart from that uh, any other task. So it is very much goal oriented and specific task related operation that is performed in artificial narrow intelligence. Okay, coming to, to the examples, uh, artificial narrow intelligence is actually present almost everywhere around you. For example, whenever you wake up from the morning till you go to bed in the evening, it always uh, you can see that artificial narrow intelligence is around you. Uh, coming to the example parts, whenever, uh, for example, smartphone, you are using it. There is an image recognition system to unlock uh, through your face. Then you can see if you are uh, using Siri or Alexa, you can see that speech recognition system is again part of artificial narrow intelligence. And there are so many other examples. For example, if you consider any recommendation uh, system where, for example, Netflix, if you're using Netflix and Netflix recommends you something which is very much relevant to you, then again, it is using artificial narrow intelligence. So all these were the examples that were related to artificial narrow intelligence. So now let's move on to our next stage that is artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. And it is also known as strong AI or human level AI. Why human level AI? That is because it can cover one or more functional areas to perform the task. For example, it can do reasoning, thinking, decision making or problem solving and it can club two or more specific task in a go and perform the operation. So you can see here, it can cover one or more functional tasks to perform as well as it focuses on reasoning, problem solving and abstract thinking which is very much similar to a human behavior. Artificial general intelligence examples are listed here as uh, any system which takes a huge amount of data to come to a one particular decision. That system uses artificial and uh, general intelligence wherein it has to synthesize a huge amount of information and come to a conclusion. And also, uh, the systems which require human level of intelligence wherein they can mimic in terms of skills, in terms of reasoning, thinking, very much similar to a human being, that system uses AGI. At present, we are still in a process of achieving AGI. 
so currently we are in a uh, artificial narrow intelligence stage uh, the examples which you see day to day around you is all part of artificial narrow intelligence so now let us move on to our next stage of artificial intelligence and that is artificial super intelligence so artificial super intelligence is referred to as hypothetical ai this is because uh, it surpasses all the human intelligence for example uh, way beyond human intelligence uh, it can perform so it majorly focuses on being self aware and self conscious to perform an activity so examples of artificial super intelligence you can see here super intelligent ai agent which is capable of mimicking each and every aspect of human behavior and beyond human behavior and these systems are actually ma have mastered every skill okay these were the part of artificial super intelligence now let's move on next part of this session that is conclusion i hope till now you have understood the different stages of artificial intelligence and with its examples so now let's move on to the conclusion part of today's session as i have uh, already told that currently at present we are in the ani stage that is artificial narrow intelligence so slowly uh, for the upcoming decades we might even achieve artificial general intelligence soon then uh, one factor that has accelerated the acceptance of artificial intelligence is pandemic the pandemic uh, has made almost all the industry domains and businesses to adapt artificial intelligence in their business model so that they can have better sales or improve their product quality or even have a very good customer relationship here i would like to point out one thing uh, which uh, i think even you have might have noticed in your daily uh, life that is nowadays you can see most of the websites have this chatbots for the customer service this has helped the businesses to grow more because now they are capable of interacting with their customers 24 into 7 and they are ready to solve their queries anytime so the usage of chatbots has been very much essential for companies to grow and also improve their product qualities based on the reviews uh, fetched from the customers so i hope you could understand the concept of artificial intelligence and its different stages along with the examples thank you so much for watching this video i hope you could enjoy the video consider subscribing to our channel link frequency tune yourself to make a difference